Good morning, everyone. It's so great to be here. My name is Alicia Ruo. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Local Data. So we're in a city, the city of New York, and I'm sure you might have noticed it's changing. Cities across the globe are changing faster than ever before. We're in an era of more data than ever before as well. We have data about ourselves and about our homes. And we're moving toward an era of the quantified city. But unfortunately, the decisions being made about the future of cities don't always take this data into consideration. So if we go back to San Francisco, where I just flew, flew out from, there's a huge development being proposed uh, for the new Warriors Stadium, a $500 million development. It's beautiful. Um, and after the Warriors proposed it and picked out a site, spent a lot of dollars on the design, it got shut down. It was shut down due to a single ballot vote. And the reason this happened was because bad assumptions were made without good information. On the one hand, we had the citizens who were concerned about the impact that this development might have on their neighborhood, reasonable. And on the other side, we had real estate developers that were enthusiastic about the project but didn't understand that local context in enough detail. So if we fast forward to today, they've selected a new site. They actually purchased a new piece of land down the waterfront at Mission Bay. And this is Casey. Casey is responsible for avoiding the mistakes that were made on the initial proposal, and he needs to calculate success. He does so using data, and he'll begin by understanding the site in deep, granular context. He'll ask questions like, what is the existing behavior like in this neighborhood, not just of the stadium itself, but the surrounding area? How do people move around the city? He'll send out collectors to try to understand this information using pen and paper, gathering information about the way that bicyclists use space or how pedestrians cross streets. And then from there, this is the tough part. He spends hours upon hours gathering disparate data from across the internet, things from the census, from government data sources, from proprietary data sources, and he tries to gather it all together. It's just a preparation nightmare. Well, this isn't only Casey's problem, it's actually a problem many data analysts face across sectors. The New York Times recently reported that 50 to 80% of time is actually spent on that lengthy collection and preparation process. And that's just conventionally available data. Again, we're in an era of ubiquitous smartphones, more data than ever before that can tell us things like air quality coming from sensors, mobility, the way people move around a city. And that kind of information simply isn't being used in these major decisions. And that's due to technical roadblocks. Casey is not a programmer. He can't access this data. He sees a script, and he shies away. So he's dealing with messy, raw government data that he's trying to bring together. And he's not even accessing the best data in the league. So this leads to costly assumptions and introduces risk, something no real estate developer wants in their project. So we created local data. Local data is a platform for gathering diverse amounts of urban data about cities. We aggregate it into a single place, and then we allow analysts like Casey to actually process that data, filter it down, and then use it in financial models and other analytic <coughs> methods. He begins by using our initial app, which is a mobile data collection tool. So he can go out in the field and actually collect data on movement, infrastructure, and other indicators in real time. And then from there, he brings it all into a dashboard. And so I want to show you a little bit about what Casey might see. So if we go over to the browser, he'll begin by drawing the boundaries of his site, of the area that he actually cares about. It's not just the stadium. It's actually the context, so it's the whole neighborhood. And he draws a boundary so that his data falls within those lines. He can begin to add the surveys that he had those folks go out and actually collect, so bicycle counts. I can click on the data that was collected and see instantly a trend over time on how bicycles were used in that specific context. I can add other survey data, like pedestrian counts, that somebody else has gone out to collect. And then from there, I can add in other variables, like traffic congestion, seeing in real time where the intersections that might be problem areas are on a map. The other thing I can add is that really interesting real-time social media data. In this case, I want to look at Instagram. 
I want to understand the organic patterns of behavior in cities at a granular context. So great, he's got all of his data on a map, and now he can export it to plug into his model. He can see at a glance statistical assessment of the area that he's, he's counting on, and he can use that to inform the decisions. So if I head back to the presentation, just press play. Uh, we can begin to understand what Casey might get out of all this data. He reaches a place where he is a win-win. He's moving away from risk and costly assumptions and moving toward a, sh a safe bet and a shared understanding between the stakeholders involved in this process. We've launched local data in 25 cities across the globe and we've had some great traction. We have 30% growth quarter after quarter and we're well on our way to achieving 230K in real revenue by the end of the year. We provide our customers an annual subscription of five to $20,000 a year, and we've helped solve problems using data in diverse use cases from supply chain management to transportation infrastructure, economic development, and vacant property assessment. Our beachhead is $2.72 billion. We're working right now in urban planning, architecture, and gov tech. That's the world that we came out of. I'm an urban planner, and we know it well. Adjacent to that market is a huge opportunity in commercial real estate and data science, which we're aggressively pursuing. We're the team to do this. We have backgrounds in urban planning, consumer technology, and we're truly experts in this space. We've been advised and supported by some of the best in the league. So here's our roadmap. Again, we've started out with this mobile collection data tool with a dashboard. We've raised a significant amount of money and we're excited about the future. You just caught a glimpse of the aggregation platform that's currently in development. We're raising $1 million for the next 18 months and moving toward 2016 where we will integrate with the city sensor networks that are gonna to begin to dot the cities of the globe. We're excited to announce that our first five cities for this new data aggregation platform will be San Francisco and New York City, as well as Houston, DC, and Seattle, which are experiencing some of the highest real estate growth in the country. We're gonna build a marketing and sales team, grow our engineering support, and really focus on those five major cities. We truly believe that better data makes better cities. So I ask you to join us on this journey and check out local data. Thank you so much.